Central Florida is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. the sack they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that third and about 15 yards to the sticks ball on the 20 yard line it's caught first down and he's out of bounds he made a really good move at the line of scrimmage Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. He goes out of bounds. The 39-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. Steps out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. West Virginia is looking to go up by three. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Knights have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. makes it to the 47. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Little handoff. Nice run to the outside. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll bring him down at the 33 yard line. Number 16 makes the tackle at the 33 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Great two! X! Throws in a cover, it just picked off. I just don't 
think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First and 10, ball on the 22. West Virginia has a three-point lead. Here we go. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at about the 31. Makes the grab and steps out right away. It's not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. the 38-yard line. Caught, and that's a first down. He's taken down around the 18-yard line. hit before he can go anywhere. They go back to him on a quick throw. Quick strike and he drops it. It's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Out of bounds around the seven yard line. They chose to throw the ball here on third and short, and it proved effective as the little dump pass got them a new set of downs. West Virginia is up by three. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's scrambling, tries to get around the corner. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he converts the extra point. A nine play, 79 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now, 10-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Zips it to the back, and he's tackled right away. Number 22 on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and three. And three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Red, two. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 36. Red two. Green. 
pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Hey, watch number five, number five, watch number five. Green nine, green nine. Orange three, orange three. And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. First down. From the 25 yard line. First down. Here we go, here we go. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. 10 0, West Virginia. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Three down, three down. 31's the fight. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green, 15. Is it on? Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. 47, Mike, 47, Mike, Mike, 47. Black five. He steps out at about the 19-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Makes it out to about the 10. The offensive coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Runs outside for a nice game. That makes it second and six. From the six yard line. It's second down. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Here comes the pressure. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he tacks on the extra point. Central Florida kicked this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. West Virginia holds a field goal lead. Strike to his receiver, no good. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. On the throw, incomplete pass. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Fourth down, upcoming as they go three and out. kick he 
gets out to about the 32-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second, second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Dog four, yellow three. There he goes. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. That makes it first and ten. Larry, Larry. Up. 31's the mic. All day, baby. All day. All day. All day. Makes it to the 44. From the 44-yard line. First down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. He's on the run, heading for the corner. He's going to take off. Good open field tackle. That's a game of 17. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15 yard line. Three down, three down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47. Touchdown, Knights! And he hits the PAT. A nice six play, 68 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Just throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. The Knights will use their first time out of the half. Nice run there. A little slyness to no avail there, far away from the sticks. Well, there was a seam there, but he couldn't get there quick enough. This defense is deceptively fast. He really got a hold of that one. Ball is loose, fumble. Looks like the offense has it. How about that? They get the ball right back. Now let's see if they can take advantage of it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mike 41, I've got a wedge that, huh? Watch the screen, watch the screen. He heaves it deep. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Mountaineers!
great play there to pick up six points. Yeah, this guy is tough in medium yardage situations. Everybody's thinking the quarterback is going to keep it, and the big fella makes his way into the end zone. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Knights quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, if you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. From their own 27-yard line. Third down. And he's going to be sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. <laughs> Tackle at the 43. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. With this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. West Virginia is up a field goal. He's pushed out of bounds. Right seven yard line job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Here, ball of timeout. It's their second of the half. complete he's got room he gets hit out of bounds at the 35 from the 35 yard line it's first down Second and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Caught, and he's hit immediately. West Virginia has a three-point lead. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 11. And he didn't get enough for the first. You know, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. And it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. The Mountaineers in front by six. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're gonna wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. Very Number close game now as we start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Blue 45! Blue 45! And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He gets sacked on the play. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. West Virginia with a six-point lead. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. down around the 35 yard line and down he goes around the 28 yard line timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. I'm coming after you. Go. I'm coming after you. Mike 41. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of six yards. Fourth down.
West Virginia. Up six. Kicks away, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Listen, he's not just fast, he's also a smart runner. He knows how to follow blocks, and he knows when to accelerate. That's what differentiates skill from talent. From the 49-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. He's at the 40, makes it out to about the 36. That's a game of 13. He makes it to the 35 yard line. That's a deal of one on the play. That makes it second. Second and eight. Ball on the 35 yard line. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. He scrambled, and they got it. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. And he's looking for more. He's tackled at about the 35. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. We're about set to start things up again. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. West Virginia is up by six. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Once and all, going deep. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. He's taken down at about the 15-yard line. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 15. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's a That'll bring on third and 
Plenty of time in the pocket. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They're at the five. It's second down. Touchdown, West Virginia. That's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. It's tough to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive. And they put up seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled at the 33. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Black ball. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. Third down. That's three down and one to go. West Virginia's got a 13-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Red two. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. Let's go deep. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Number 47 on the tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Watch 85, ball's going 85. They'll run it. He fights forward to about the 43. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Makes it out to about the 33. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. He goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line. That's a team on the That makes it This is the 10th play of this drive. Roger, Roger. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Red two. Quick throw, and he hits.
hits him hard at the 16. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Complete across the middle, and he's tackled right away. Number 47 brings him down at the seven yard line. That makes it second and two. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Two tights, two tights. Just under three to go in regulation. Room around the corner. Nice run, and he's brought down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Hey, let's get them holes. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Green eye, green eye. Just throws this one away. This is the 14th play of this drive. Touchdown, Knights! A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he hits the PAT. Central Florida is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Mountaineers having everything going their way right now. They have put up 20 straight points on the board. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Flares it out to the right, and that's to the fullback. Here he goes! And they make the stop at the 37. Number 26 on the tackle, the 37 yard line. That'll move the Jets to another West Virginia. First down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Just over two minutes in the game. He gets rid of this one. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little animosity brewing right now between these two sidelines. This team has a huge lead, and they're still firing the football in the air trying to get more points. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 37. Going long. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And he is drilled at the 26. Defense just stepped up and made the biggest play of the game. Just a huge interception. Mike, Mike. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming, baby. Woo! Down. Yellow eight. Cut. Throws it deep. In the air. It's intercepted. He sheds it. Tackle at the 48. The Knights star quarterback. A tough way to end this game. He's just going to have to find a way to bounce back. Uh, he's going to have to. And you and I had a chance to sit down with him. This is a tough loss. They'll deal with this for a couple days. And I think knowing these players, they'll be able to move past this and get ready for their next game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 48. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Just over a minute left. Gets out to around the 28. A gain of eight on the carry. The Knights are going to call their second timeout. He fights 
forward to about the 26. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays, and for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. They'll knock him down for a loss. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 30-24, Mountaineers. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreet. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.